All right, here we are. Here's the building. The building is completely burned from one side to the other. The firemen are throwing out insulation to avoid the fire um, restarting. They've got it under control after a while. They actually had to take the ladder and go through the roof. I don't know if you can see the hole in the roof from the video, but I can see it. The tree on the right that I'm zooming in on, there's a hole right to the left of the tree where they had to actually cut and bang their way in to contain the fire. So I'm a, it had to be that room. It's got to be that room. Or at least the fire was that bad in that room at the time. All these heroes showed up as quickly as they could. We've got the uh, Portage Fire Department, the uh, North Freedom Fire Department, fire departments from other cities showing up to help. It's amazing, amazing with the response. Uh, North Freedom is a good 15, 20 minute drive from here. They got here as quickly as they could. Portage is even a little further away than that. And uh, they got here shortly after, but I think they're still in their fire truck behind those trees, you can't see them. Uh, I'm gonna see how close they'll let me get. See how close they're gonna let me get before I get in any trouble here. I'm gonna take this video right here. I'm gonna stop right here. The cops are looking at me now, so these guys are looking at me. I'm just gonna take this. The heroes are everywhere doing what they can. Oh, the cops don't seem to care about me as long as I don't get too close. I don't think they really give a shit. The building is, it's toast, it's gone. The whole building, from one end to the other, it must have spread really fast from the, uh, from the insulation, I'm guessing. Oh man, looks like top floor fire now. I can confirm it was a top floor fire. Bottom floor looks pretty good. Uh, hopefully whoever's in that car wasn't in the room at the time. I did catch video of uh, some civilians being walked out to the road by an EMS person, I think it was. So that was, that was good to see that they were okay. Uh, this, they were using, uh, I think they were using battering rams earlier to uh, knock these doors open, it sounded like. I know they were uh, definitely busting a hole in the roof. You can see the hole better right here, right there in the center of the screen. Uh, that was to put the fire out, the remainder of the fire. They did get it under control pretty quick. I was on the other side of these trees over here, and I saw huge plumes of black smoke rising over the trees. My first thought was the trees are going to catch fire, get to the building on the other side, and get to where I'm living, or staying, I mean, and... That would have been bad. I just realized there's an actual gas tank back there. That could have blown up if the fire spread this way. Um, I'm glad it was contained to that building. I'm not glad that it happened. I do hope that everyone is okay. Um, I saw some civilians getting walked away by EMS personnel, so I think they're all right. But this, this is a disaster. You can see the water hose going up to the top floor. They had to do that after they contained it, obviously. Um, there's a ladder they used to get up there. They're, they're still uh, taking the insulation out of the rooms. Some cool little cabins here, though. I'm glad the cabins didn't burn. I really hope no one was injured. Pretty uh, long building, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so it looks like about twelve rooms on the top floor. Oh no, I'm counting the window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight rooms, seven or eight rooms. The bottom floor was affected over here on the left side of the building, it looks like, but not so much on the right side. Um, I just hope everybody's okay. Lots of heroes here today. Lots and lots of heroes are here. 
Um, I'm glad they showed up in a timely manner and got it under control. This is happening right now. This is I'm taking this footage as it happens. I don't know about casualties. I'm going to pray that no one was seriously injured or uh, worse in this disaster. It, uh, it appears that the heroes do have it under control. They're doing what they can now to make sure that the fire doesn't restart or spread anymore. Um, it does appear that it was started in that room where the hole is above because the whole left side of the building there is the top is just destroyed burned and the right side roof is okay so it did definitely originate in that room right there where the hole is they're still spraying the water to make sure that it doesn't restart these guys are are the real heroes here that showed up to save people Please remember to thank your firemen, your EMS personnel, and even your policemen, because not all policemen are bad, I promise you. At least not the ones here in this in this city, they're they're not. I, I know some of them, they're pretty good people. Um, but that right there, these guys, these guys right here, these are the real heroes. And they don't get enough recognition for what they do. As they put their lives on the line every day to save people in situations like this. I'm going to see how close I can get without getting in trouble here. I'm actually pretty close now. I'm going to see if this uh, guy in the uh, yellow vest over here by the building can answer my question if anyone was uh, seriously hurt or not. This is a terrible fire. It spread so fast apparently. Well, they had that, um, you can see all the fiberglass insulation on the ground. Fiberglass insulation is known to spread fires extremely fast through the walls. I mean extremely fast. I don't think foam insulation would be any better I'm not I don't know but that definitely was a huge factor in the fire spreading as fast and far as it did and we still got a hero up here wetting everything down and uh, knocking down uh, loose it looks like he's knocking down loose uh, boards and stuff we got someone spraying water over here I just had a quick question. Everyone is okay, right? Uh, yep. Everyone's okay. Yep. Okay, okay. Okay, oh no, I, I, I didn't want to get any close. I didn't, I was afraid to come this close. These folks are only close to being I was afraid to get this close. My uh, my mom was worried about me because I'm way over there, but she was worried. I told her I'd take a little video, and I'm, I'm actually giving the firemen the props that they deserve and the EMS people. They're in the video because they are real heroes. That was amazing. North Freedom and Portage both showed up. That's amazing. Yeah, they got everybody out that was in there in time. So. Good, good, good. That's what That was my main concern. I saw a couple of people get walked by a guy in a vest that way, and I figured that's a good sign. They were okay walking off, you know. So that was a good sign that there were some civilians that survived. My first concern was I saw no civilians standing outside at all. So I'm like, oh, no, everyone in there is gone. You know, so I was really worried. Um, 
I'm not going to show this guy's face on camera because I didn't ask him permission, but uh, if you guys watching could please uh, thank your local police departments as well. Not all policemen are bad. I can promise you the ones in this city are not bad. Um, thank the firemen in your town. They don't get the recognition that they deserve. And please remember to thank your EMS workers. And especially thank all of your uh, health care workers right now during this uh, pandemic that we're going through. That's all right. I won't get you on video. They got it contained. I just got confirmed. There are no injuries and no casualties. So that's good news. That's really, really good news. Um, that makes me feel better to know that I was so worried. Again, there's the hole the firemen put through the roof to help contain the fire. It apparently originated in that room. You can see the whole left side of the roof is just burnt and the right side isn't. And I think now they're just trying to get the insulation out and make sure they wet it down enough to uh, make sure the fire doesn't come back at this point. I'm amazed they let me get this close. I do. I have a YouTube channel. Maybe you saw me on YouTube. No, no. I'm a, I'm right over here at this other one on the other side of the trees. I saw all the black smoke coming up above the trees, and I immediately I thought the trees were on fire. So I'm like, oh crap! It's coming over here. We're gonna burn down. I could get my car out. The yellow one. Oh, that's your car. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that now. The windshield is smashed in. Jesus. Surely there's got to be some kind of coverage with insurance on that, right? Hopefully they'll cover that. I'm just very happy that no one was hurt. I'm happy that these heroes showed up as fast as they did. Oh, your dog woke you up and saved you. That's even better. Can I put your dog on my video? This dog, this dog right here, apparently woke up his, woke up his daddy to warn them of the fire. Oh, and there's a cute little dog there. I didn't see that one. Apparently, apparently these two dogs are heroes for waking the, waking them up to make sure that they got out of the fire in time. That's really cool news. That's really, really cool news. That is a hero. Those are heroes right there. Definitely hero. And a beautiful dog. What breed is that? That is beautiful. Yeah, I know it looks like there's a little cage, though. He's still beautiful. I'm assuming since uh, the fire, the electric company came up here a while ago, I'm assuming they cut us off for the whole block. As we know why, we were in the other room. Well, it looks like that one up top is where the fire started because that's where they put the hole in the top. Look at the corner, very low bottom. Is that where it started? I believe because there was a girl and her daughter living in there. I don't know how long you've been living in there. And yesterday, my wife asked her out to get some uh, heat in the room. She turned it out last night, and when I looked at the corner, it was black marks by the heater. I told Bob about it. Well, that's not good. I told Bob about it. And, uh, and he goes, well, we'll go check the look at it. I go, no, we should check it out now. And we opened the door. It was one big thing of smoke. Yeah, I walked out of my room over there, and I just saw here. lots of black smoke. Lots. Thing happened three hours later. And we keep moved up to that part, which is 23 today. Because there's a heat in her by the register. They moved you from there to here? Oh, so you got lot even luckier. Well, at the Apparently these no. these guys were moved from over there to way over here, right? Like luckily before the fire happened. Three hours. So that's pretty cool. That's good news that there was no one injured. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, and I'll take more video if there's any updates.